Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming, and we're playing some Celesta Crown of the Magister. And uh, we opened a chest and popped out here somewhere, wherever here may be. I suggest, since we have not been finding a huge variety of rest spots lately, that we take a long rest. Short rest. Excuse me. A long, short rest. Um, we don't have any attuning, I think, to do. No, I think everything that we want to attune is attuned. So we'll go ahead, uh, we will roll some dice here, though. Pretty good. It's done 94 hit points. There we go. Get some hit points back, get some spells and abilities back. And then hopefully, not die. Yeah, can't move out into the marsh. All right. Um, why do you not just move there? There is a path to the... Nope. She can't quite make that jump. Okay. <clears throat> Luckily, there's a log here. Now, can you get there? All right. I'll be honest with you. I think these kind of little <clears throat> movement puzzles are kind of a waste of time. <laughs> I know it's it gives you something to interact with, and Wrong with this maybe it makes you think about it, but... <clears throat> looks like the uh it just looks kind of familiar it looks like the outside of the last uh dragon's home huh uh what's this direction anything just a dock okay so in theory We got kind of a weird thing going on here. Our water here moves and our... I didn't even realize that was supposed to be water. I thought it was just kind of mud, but I see it now. Um, if you look at it from the right directions, there you go. Get a little more translucency, but the water flows there and it stops here, so... Interesting. Okay. Just kind of... Sneak around here a little bit. All right, let's let's come up here and see what this says. And we'll go check over there. Nether gains an item, Tome of All Things. Farewell letter. Um, does she really? Oh, it equipped it. Once again, auto-equip is off, remember, guys. Um, but apparently not. All of your ability scores equal 20. Oh. Is she the one we want to have that? I mean, I don't have a problem with it, per se. It doesn't appear to need to be attuned, because look, everything there is 20. She does get a lot of attacks. I don't know. I mean, he'd gain... Well, he'd gain quite a bit. <laughs> so everything would go up to plus 5. So he would gain uh, 5, 10, uh, 14. He would gain 3, 6, 10, 13, 16. She would gain 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
15. So we're all more or less in about the same place. Oh, I don't mean to drop it on the ground. I just want to put it there. And she actually gains 2 plus 5, 7, 12, 16. But we don't really... I mean, I guess aside from saving throws, we don't really need any of that. I mean, he would benefit from dex, con, and strength. And wisdom. But he's already pretty close to all of those. I mean, essentially get a plus one to his bonuses for that. He would benefit from strength, for sure, and con. But, I mean, right now, we're running... Light finesse weapons. So... I mean, we could run different weapons. We've got like that plus two mace kicking around still, right? Maybe. Do we do we not anymore? Oh, there it is. So that's a mace plus two, right? We could carry that because all of a sudden that would be 1d6 plus two. But I don't know that that matters really over this. I mean, he's already doing 1d6 plus 1d6 with that. So... Um, so he could use non-finesse weapons, essentially, but I don't think we need that. Speaking of which, do we have anybody that's ready to, uh, craft our, uh, chainmail of robustness yet? Yes. Could do a short bow of accuracy. Um... <clears throat> I don't need the oil of acuteness for anything else, I don't think, so we may as well. I mean, it's just plus one, right? What do I have right now on you? Just a regular short bow. Okay, so it is it is better. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and craft that. And then I want some more arrows. Uh, inventory, what do you have running? You've got nothing magic or special right now. And nah, you've got three left. Okay. So let's go ahead. Start those. And yeah, and we'll start those two. We'll get... Ten fancy ones for her, and then we'll do some for him. Okay. Oh, so I guess in the meantime, I mean, I don't really have anybody that I, I think needs it more than anybody else. I mean, if nothing else, it's more hit points for her, right? What's her hit points at right now? <clears throat> 85. Of 103. So now she would go up to 103 as long as she's got that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go here, and then we'll wrap around. Can we get a shot off before this fight starts? No. Maybe? Oh, wait, she didn't run initiative, so hopefully that means yes. Yeah, okay, one, two, three, four. And we did get a surprise round. Ah! Is resistant to piercing damage, that's fine. Lucky, perhaps. Um, and then, I don't... It says there's four of them. Do we think they're scattered this way or they're scattered back this way? I would think around the stairs would make more sense. You know what? I'm just going to go to here. That puts me within range of moving either direction next turn, depending on what I need to do. There we go. 
A fine stroke. Nat 20 and rolled a one on its save, but it's immune. <laughs> oh well. Okay, and now I think just Firebolt. I don't think there's need to do anything special so far. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Also resistant to fire. Okay. Ow! Reasonable hit. Oh, you know what we should do. We're not going to get the third attack with our offhand with this, so we may as well use this on the Hunter's Mark. And D20. Nat 20, excuse me. Again. Didn't take much. Resistant to piercing took three. Resistant to piercing. So it must have been like a one. Because it disappeared. I don't know. Uh, and I will move him up to here. Um, I'm going to just, let's just, one more arrow round, we'll finish this one off. Palpable okay. hit. Ah! So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my sword and move this way on the belief that, maybe a mistaken belief, that everybody else was that direction. Um, I don't know. That's got to miss. A four hit. Kill, Never mind. They say. Um, and I will maybe hop up here just in case that gets me some elevation. All right, there's another one. Um, I wonder if we get more mileage out of a haste. Then this will be our last one of this level. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll throw it on Nether. All right, another uh, Spectral Avenger. Okay. Spectral Avenger, two Earth Elementals. Move my target to uh, here. We know these are resistant to piercing, and we're not going to get into this fight this turn. So I'm going to slide to here, and we'll go after. We'll just put some arrows in this one. And we'll see if he's resistant. If we can hit him, that's that's a big if. That way, he's also resistant to piercing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Let's uh slide up to here, and we'll use our uh we'll use our action surge this attack. Because, why not? Another victory. And we'll slide up. We use our last normal, well, our bonus sword attack there because of our abilities. Then we'll action surge. And we'll get two more attacks, of which we whiff the first one. And, oh, I was going to say, and we whipped the second well as well, if history was anything, but no, we did okay there. All right. That was actually really, really, really good. I don't know if we're going to get an elevation. He is kind of floaty and taller than us. But let's uh, see what happens. Good. He did some damage, but he's immune to poison and resistant. So, yeah. Second one moves up. We'll move uh, much up here. That's the one I think we have the uh, the deal on. And I'm, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to go with Firebolt for now. I think we've got this one in hand. Uh, not resistant to fire. Okay. Good. Better. 
like it when they mess up. Switch here. We've already got the Hunter's Mark there. And we miss again. There we go. It's not too bad. And again, for whatever reason, they're not resistant to the knives, even though they're resistant to piercing when we shoot them with an arrow. There's uh, there's some weirdness going on there, and I, I can't tell you I understand it. Um, six. I'm gonna go with the big shot here. And then the... Oh, we get three. There's a haste. And I'll do the little one here. There we go. Uh, and I'm just gonna take a shot. Pretty good roll, I mean, aside from the fact that we then got all half, but that's okay. Ah, hold oh, on. that was a big hit. He said I could do that too. Nat 20. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can we'll 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 be okay. It's a big firebolt too, actually. Oh, forgot to move the... Oh, it doesn't matter. We missed. Come on, you can do better. There we go. A Colossal Slayer, and then that was that. Where did... Moving the spell over shouldn't take our bonus action. And yet it appears to have. Hmm. Because I should have two main hand hits and then the bonus action for the last one. But it appeared to eat my bonus action by moving <clears throat> you have the spell the over, but it shouldn't. I'm not casting the spell. <clears throat> it's drifting over. So that I think is a bug that I don't I don't think that's behavior we saw before. I think earlier in the playthrough, um, we were getting all of we were getting our bonus attack even after moving the hunter's mark over. So interesting. I uh, may as well make sure we get that arrow to the right place, because, uh... Again, we're... Running low on fancy arrows at the moment. And how many spells does much have left? Uh... Lesser, Pass Without Trace... Daylight. Oh, I keep forgetting we have that. Um, so let's go ahead and cast a cure, but we'll boost it to uh, level two. And we'll do that. Just to get a little extra. Might even be able to use our second wind. Yeah. Should get her close to the top. There we go. See, there might be a rest area down here. Although, I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna go this way. No. Okay. Not that way. Down here, maybe? Might switch to cautious. So, so nothing nothing over here. As it turns out, you can avoid this fight completely if you would like. And just walk right up the middle. There's nothing important off to either side. And up the stairs. Oh, looks pretty. Something going on on the sword. 
What a sight. Unbelievable. Nope. What a weird old building. Guys, I moved two steps back and, well, it's gone. What's gone? This manor. Something weird is going on. Story of my life. Weird gets us money and fame. And bruises. Actually, I guess one thing to think about is <clears throat> she doesn't have a lot of skills that are going to benefit from anything. Maybe he is the better one to have the the ability because we would then get bonuses to all of our proficiencies, right? Investigation, nature, perception, deception. He's already getting them for that. Who else has? Well, but it, it would be plus one for him on those. Persuasion would be a little bit better, right? Whereas it looks like we're getting a plus two. So we get an additional plus three to those and plus four to that and plus three to that. So as far as skill bonuses, that looks like the way to go. What about her? Um, she would get an extra plus one here. And I guess... Um, that'd be what? is plus two plus three so then she'd get a plus two there <clears throat> and her wisdoms would no longer be negative hmm from a skill standpoint I still think he's the one that has the most to gain from those and you saw we did just have that history check that he failed So he'd get the bonuses to those as well, even though he's not proficient in them. I don't know how many of those checks we'd make. I don't know. I don't know how much of this just because I want my thief to be really good, because I'm really partial to playing rogues, and how much of it's actually useful. Let me know which character you think would be best off with the Tome of Many Things. And if there's a point where we get to keep it, and it's still around... Because it does say it's a quest item. Um, then maybe we'll see about moving it over to somebody. I'll probably do a... May not happen Good soon. Good day to <laughs> you. My name is Elderath Smoothtongue, the master's housekeeper. I see you have purloined some of my master's property. Might I suggest you put those trinkets back to where they belong? Never mind. Let's see if that actually does it. Because we already tried to put it down kind of once already. There we go. It's funny how the game forces you to steal stuff. Right? We wouldn't need to take it, but I'm guessing we couldn't open that door without it. Just like we couldn't open the door to see the dragon without opening the chest. And even though we didn't take the item, we still got attacked. Um, I don't think it would make a difference in the final if we would have left it there, because we did go back and get it. Because the, the, the script said they wouldn't have attacked if you hadn't taken it. But we didn't take it, and they attacked. So uh, I'm not so sure. I think it's forcing you to do stuff that you, you shouldn't have to be forced to. I think you should be allowed to leave that stuff and just walk through and not take the negative well, hit on that. Please come with me. Clear skies to you. Where are you taking us? To the master, of course. And who would that be? That is not for me to say. All will be made plain in good time. I am at your disposal. Please enjoy our hospitality, but... Please don't abuse it. Someone abused your hospitality in the past? Yes. Believe it or not, some creatures can, can be murder hobos? Insufferably rude. Alas, the world is full of bad manners. Quite so. 
Not, of course, that I thought for a second that you would be capable of such discourtesy. Unless the game forces us to be. Not. And yet customs being different everywhere, might I ask what would be considered rude here? Well, my expectations don't exceed those of the Imperial Court. So don't piss in the potted plants then? Preferably not. Not that it would be the first time. Really? I've seen worse, I'm sorry to say. We have not seen guests of your... quality for some time. Some time? How long exactly? Well, it must be... Forgive me. The date eludes me for the moment. Do you remember some prominent guest? You were there, Master Kaysenax. Me? I remember it distinctly. Though your form was somewhat different. But now please follow me. One mustn't keep the Master waiting. Oh, there we go. Um, you know what, we're at 25, but let's go ahead and try to finish this one off. Is it me, or is this place truly spotless? Must be the spectral servants. Everything is shiny. First time I've seen you fascinated by cleaning. Even the most mundane task can be the expression of true nobility, when done to the fullest. I shall remind you at next camp, when the dishes come up. Indeed, those servants would come in handy. For your highness's household. All right, stop your silliness. There is imperial magic active around here. The gem is close, I feel it. And I can't help feeling I am watched. Let's tread carefully there. Famous last words. All right. Oh, we're going this way, not up the stairs. I feel like someone's watching us. Ah, oh, there's a long rest. I'm going to take it. Let's go ahead and end this episode with a long rest right here. When we come back, we will uh, finish up the rest of this. You've already, yeah, yeah that's fine. We, we want another one. <laughs> We'll finish this up and figure out who the master is. We'll have a uh, we'll have a little bit of a uh, of a cliffhanger there, and we are getting our short bow of accuracy out of all that, so that's nice. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.